So the fun starts the day before the marathon. In the expo, they set up in Rome's Eold neighborhood. That's where you can sign up in person. And after you pay something like 15 euro, you get a little yellow bag containing the official t-shirt, your start number, some supplements, and a couple of other items. The expo is filled with booths where they sell you even more marathons in some other lovely Italian cities and abroad. There's the usual stuff, sponsors, sponsor-related fun, and tons of merchandise. I got my eyes set on the pair of the official red and yellow sneakers, the colors of Rome. Nothing too odd, except that one is predominantly red and the other one is yellow. As usual, the trouble was finding the size. 45 may not gonna work. 11 and a half US, I don't think so. 12. Tried some other colors. But... Kind of feminine. I don't know about these colors, guys. Just so that I don't leave empty handed, I got myself the matching socks. And some other stuff, but that's been already covered in another video. Day. The only way to get to the city center is by metro, because the center is obviously closed off for all traffic. This is Rome, and you should never be too far from your coffee, not even during the race. All right, guys, I'm not a long-distance runner. Never been, never will be. I'm not built for that, and I don't train for that. But, so I'm not doing the Rome Marathon. What I'm doing here, there is a, a, there is a, a 5K race for the rest of us, and that's what I'm going to do. So it starts. I tell you what, nobody's running here, at least not yet. I think I need a bit of a plan. If I actually start running, I may lose this crowd. Let's give it a try. Everyone slow down for the music. Massimo, probably it's the biggest stadium ever built.
people running. He's running too. Oh, he stopped. So the thing is, the the granite, the granite cobblestones are called San Pietrini, and they're not really the easiest thing to run on. All right. Another music stop. Music break over. Looking good, fancy clothes. Qualified. All right, I found myself a bit of a softer surface here, so that is good. So I think we did about one and a half, 2K so far. Not bad, my friends. Not bad at all. It's getting on my nerves. Rome Rose Garden, by the way. I have a video on it. All of a sudden, everyone's running. Done. Not so fast, because there are food stands set up here, with usual suspects, as well as some not so usual. 
That's helpful. The big lines. So, plan B. That's plan B. Did you think for a minute I wouldn't do it? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, the road marathon. Well, the first thing to understand is there are two separate events. The full-scale 42K event, and then there is a 5K event for the rest of us. And that's the one I did. I actually tried to sign up for the main event, but I was late. And it also costs quite a bit. My plan was to film as much as I can of the 42K event because that's the one that sort of leads you to the main tourist attractions in Rome and you see all the Rome's landmarks along the way. Now, 5K was fun too, but I honestly think I sort of fall in somewhere in between. So, would I do it again? Yeah, why not? It was fun. Should you do it? I don't know, it depends on who you are. If you're an elite runner, well, you know your stuff. You don't need me to tell you. The only thing is, it's not easy to run on those cobblestones. It's kind of hard on your ankles, so be prepared. Then again, it's in March, which is great, because any later than mid-April, and it gets too hot in Rome to run. So, give it a try. Why not?